Hello, welcome back. I'm Aaron Kais, and you're watching my June comic book pull list. Alright, so a little disclaimer, same as always, I live in Japan, I can only get this, these packages from Discount Comic Book Service once a month, I'm calling them DCBS from now on. Alright, uh, so if you're wondering if some of these comics are a little late, maybe you've read some, uh, that's the reason. I live in Japan, it takes a little while for them to get, for them to get here. So, let's get into it. Here we go, got the box right here, 34 comics coming up. One big package. They're titling it The Final Days of Superman. Um, I think the second print has this on for the ones I got last month. Uh, I, I was calling it Super League, and I was thinking it was going to be a short, a, sh a short crossover. Uh, and this is actually, yeah, the, this is leading up to the death of the new 52 Superman. So, my mistake, it's not a four-part series, it's, um, it's much longer, maybe it's an eight-part series or whatever. Superman Wonder Woman number 29. Here we have, uh, this is probably part zero of Civil War 2. This is one part of a, what, like eight? part connecting the cover uh, and it, it, what's what you call like a virgin cover there's no title or anything on it there's no number um, this is gonna be well, one part of that I'm gonna stick with finishing this connecting cover but right now I'm thinking eh it's just okay I don't know what do you think about it now let me know all right, this next one we got here, this is Future Quest, number one. I have the Space Ghost variant right here. Uh, DC is coming out with some new Hanna-Barbera comics. Uh, I think this is the only one I'm going to give a chance. Uh, I'm not too fond of the Scooby-Doo Apocalypse and the other racing one. Brack is right over there <laughs> on uh, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. The Brack Show came out. Oh man, I loved that show. And the, I got the Space Ghost cover because of the Space Ghost show on Cartoon Network. Yeah, that's why I got this one. This is the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the artist of Hack variant, I think. Uh, and this is actually pretty interesting here. If you could see down here, uh, Sabrina is reading a Red Circle sorcery comic book in here. That's a throwback to back in the 70s when the Archie Comics started a horror comic book. Uh, I think it was called uh, Chilling Adventures in Sorcery, uh, told by Sabrina. I think they went for like five or six issues. And then uh, I think in the third issue, they changed the, the well, publisher title from Archie to Red Circle. But Red Circle was still a uh, part of Archie Comics. And then after... I think maybe like number six, it became Red Circle Sorcery, which she is reading right there. And actually, I think, yes, this is number six. These Archie comics, uh, Afterlife with Archie and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, are amazing. They've been on a really long uh, hiatus, uh, but they're, it looks like they're back now, and I'm definitely going to be picking up all of them. Next over here, we have another cool Daredevil comic and another cool comic or cool cover with Electra on it. Uh, Daredevil and Electra making out. Uh, this is number seven. Uh, this is pretty cool. I really like Ten Fingers, even though he's dead now. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it. I thought I was going to get a different one. Uh, I thought I was going to get that uh, black and white variant one. I got this one. Uh, so I already read this. DC, DC Universe Rebirth. Uh, just pretty much about pre-New 52, Wally West uh, coming back. And you've probably seen the spoilers online. Batman find, finding that little Watchmen pin. Wally West is saying that uh, Dr. Manhattan has been watching and messing with the world. And after Flashpoint, uh, when they lost 10 years, it was all Dr. Manhattan's fault. Yeah, so Wally West is now back. Oh, well, ooh, sorry. Uh, you probably read it anyways. Okay, here I have Deadpool number 12. This is the, I think, probably the second uh, appearance of Deadpool 2099. 
I don't really usually read these Deadpool comics, but I actually read that last uh, Deadpool 2099 first appearance one. Uh, I was pretty interested to see uh, who exactly she was, if it was Deadpool's daughter, and uh, what her anger with Deadpool is, other than him being, you know, like a jerk all the time. But yeah. this is Justice League number 50. I've said before many times I do like Dark Side War. Annie Monitor, Dark Side, and Dark Side's daughter. Uh, are all really cool characters or really cool villains that uh, yeah I'm looking to see big things from in Dark Side War here. Here we have Nighthawk number one. I said before I was going to give all of the Squadron Supreme members uh, a shot if they got a solo series. I'm gonna give Nighthawk number one a shot. I mean, Nighthawk is pretty much a more violent Batman in the Marvel Universe. I mean, even like he even looks like a member of the Court of Owls, you know, in this costume. All right, uh, next one we got here, uh, Final Days of Superman. This is number eight, and this is Superman number 52. So uh, I think maybe probably 52 is a fitting issue to kill him in, right? So probably he's dying in this one. Oh, here I got a uh, Rick Remender's comic. This is Tokyo Ghost. This is number seven. Uh, actually, I haven't read this in a while. I don't think it's coming like a few months i guess maybe they're on a break so oh uh, yeah i'm um, looking forward to jump back into this here we got afterlife with archie well, they've been on a hiatus this is number nine uh, this is the dave devries variant i guess uh, i liked it a little bit more than the original cover uh we got dude jughead the first of the zombies i'm definitely definitely looking forward to this so finally getting these, these are the free comic book day comics that uh, came out last month uh, that I'm getting in my package now. Uh, this is the, the ones I chose. This is this from Black Mask. This is uh, We Can Never Go Home and Young Terrorists. The next one we got for our free comic book day, this is ROM number zero, IDW. Uh, free comic book day. I already got this from the comic book shop. Everyone got this from the comic book shop. This is like the one that you got. Uh, Suicide Squad, this is my like, third copy. Squadron Supreme, we got Nighthawk versus Nighthawk. All right, uh, this should be pretty cool. <sighs> Harrow County, gotta be reading it. This is number 12. If Pixar wrote the story for a horror, horror comic, this would be it. Here we have Black Panther number two. This is another part of the connecting variant. I don't know, I don't really care. I said my piece about Black Panther last month. Things should change for him to be accepted as a hero. Because as it stands, he is not. Here we have the Uncanny Inhumans. This is number eight. Got Johnny Storm and Medusa making out on the cover. This is the second comic in this one that people are making out on the cover on. All right. Here we got Venom Space Knight. I do like it. I like the art. Here I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 58. I'm looking forward to this. So 59 just came out this week and stupid jerks on the internet can't stop talking about somebody's dying in 59 and I, I'm not going to say who it is but I just found out like who is supposedly dying. He's probably not really going to die but I really wanted to find that out for myself. Some jerk posted a picture saying who it was in the picture and then there was no like oh spoilers or head or something like that it takes me a while to get the comic i wanted to read it on my own stupid jerk on google plus <laughs> anyway this is number 58 this is swamp thing number five all right i'm just getting it now just because i've gone this far on it i think there's only like six in there and oh man it just gets worse and worse and I like Swamp Thing. It, it's just... And it's okay. It, no, it's not even okay. It's not even okay. I, I think I was trying to convince myself. It's, it's not very good. Here is one that's good. Here we have Darth Vader, number 20. Alright, look at that. Oh. The Imperial Guards are like my favorite character in the whole Star Wars universe. Seriously, they look so cool. There's a whole bunch of them on the cover here. Uh, colors are pretty sweet on this cover. All right, here we have the last part of Batman Teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is number six. All right, dude, if you're not reading it, I don't know what's wrong with you. Here I have the all new, all different Avengers number nine. 
This is the, I think, the first appearance of the new Wasp. Uh, and the Alex Ross cover there. I do like his art a lot. So uh, I think this is a pretty sweet one. Check it out. Okay, so this is the earlier one than the one I had before, but here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 57. All right. This is, I guess, uh, IDW had uh, some kind of art variant month. Uh, I was trying to think of some kind of <laughs> funny mixture of Raphael and Mona Lisa. Nothing, nothing came. If you think of one, tell me in the comments. Rat Queens number 16. I am really, really sad this is going to be going on hiatus for I don't even know how long. They didn't even say, but I guess something, a bunch of the creators are writers and artists. I don't know if they're having problems or something. I have not, I have no clue, but I'm, I was really, I'm really sad to hear. This might be the last one I'm getting in a while. I don't even know. I'm really sad because this is one of my favorites right now. Seriously. Rat Queens. This is number 16. All right. Uh, this one I just picked up, you know, just because this is G.I. Joe number 228. Uh, it had a whole bunch of Joe girls on there. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, seeing it close up, there's not enough detail. A little disappointed. Good series. Another Revenger one. Devolution, this is part, what, four? Yes, four. All right. People are turning into apes. What are you going to do? You got to run away. You got to kill a whole bunch of people and then escape from all those dudes that are just like, oh, I'm going to take over because I'm not a Napia and then just like kill and rape and make people my slaves. So you got to get away from those dudes. That's what these people are doing in this comic. But then it turns out the people in your group are actually total jerks. What are you going to do? Well, this comic explains it. That's a pretty good one. Well, the title says it. If you read only one X-Men title this month, Dracula commands. This must be it. And seriously, this is the only X-Men title I'm reading this month. Uh, and actually, <laughs> this is the only X-Men title I'm reading at all, pretty much. And I'm not even reading this. I'm just reading this one issue because they got Vampire Jubilee on there and Dracula. Only reason I picked it up. So this is X-Men 92, number three. Poe Dameron, number two. This is the last one I'm going to get. I don't even care about his backstory. All right, here we have Punisher, number one. There were some variant covers that got a lot of attention this month uh, that did look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, but they didn't really actually hadn't, didn't hear anything about the story. So I'm still in the dark on that. I want to check this one out. Moon Knight, number two. Issue number one was killer. Oh, it was so good. It was so freaking good. Uh, Spectre's in uh, an insane asylum. Uh, he puts a sheet on his head and realizes that they're all these Egyptian uh, gods and gods of service and stuff like that. And he's stuck. And, oh, man. Number one blew me away. Uh, and I was expecting it to be great. And it still blew me away. Uh, now I'm expecting number two to be just as good. This cover really is so good. I love that. Do you like that? Oh, man. So nice. All right. Here's, a, I think, a pretty fitting end. I got Howard the Duck. This is number seven. Look at that cover. We got Spider-Man. What? Old Captain America, She-Hulk, Daredevil, and Howard the Duck hanging out on a Tyrannosaurus's mouth. Actually, I haven't even been keeping up with Howard the Duck so much recently, but I saw this cover, and I was like, wow, friggin' awesome. So, yeah, you can't go wrong with a... Tyrannosaurus Rex cover with people, superheroes jumping on his face. You know? And I think that's a good ending here. Alright, there you have it. My comic book pull list for the month of June. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. And also hit the thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just don't do anything. Alright, I, you don't even need to be here. Alright, why'd you stick around this long? If you're looking for suggestions on what to read, I know I said a few good ones in here, and uh, make sure you look back at my other videos to see some more suggestions. If you have anything that you want to suggest me to read, I'd be happy to hear about it in the comments. Right. I'm Aaron Kais, that's all for now. See you next time. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, darn it. If you're looking for sex... If you're looking for sex... <laughs> Daredevil and Electro making out. Sigh. <sighs>